What's going on guys, it's Bear, and today I'm going to you guys another tutorial, and this is going to be a Photoshop tutorial, and this is going to be on how to make, uh, like how to enhance in real life pictures, like real life pictures, since most of the stuff I do is pretty much digitally created, it would be easier to show you guys how to enhance like real life stuff. So basically, this is just a picture from one of my lacrosse games, there's me, but uh, there's like us, and uh, without the stuff, obviously it's just going to be like a boring little picture. So just to start it off, uh, you can start with like your raw picture, nothing added to it, and the first thing you can do is just duplicate it and go to filter, blur, and then lens blur, and then put it on a radius of like uh, about 12-ish, not between 16 and 10, and then you're just gonna take an eraser. Mine's on 473 because my picture size, and then you're just gonna kind of like you don't really want to get the whole background out, or you can just zoom in really far and do this. But you're pretty much just going to want to erase the blurry parts on like all the people first. And it doesn't have to be that precise because you're not a photographer. And then you just erase this stuff so the background is more blurred out than everything else. And then you can just merge these together and then duplicate them. And then what you can do is instead of going to filter, like, or yeah, filter, no image and the adjustments and stuff you can click this little uh like half colored in circle thing and it brings up these little menus and it's pretty much what's in the the image section and then you can go to like uh brightness contrast levels curves but you're gonna click brightness and contrast and you're gonna turn the brightness up a little bit mine's on 11 and then you can turn the contrast up to about like 30. i should put that on nine and this is here, so you can just click it, and then if you want to mess with it again, double click the little circle thing. And then you're going to go to Hue and Saturation, and you're going to take the saturation and bring it up. Not a lot, because if you bring it up a lot, it's like a heat sensor thing, but you're going to bring it up quite a bit. So obviously it turns black and white if you go down one way, and it brings all the color out. So you can bring it up to like 20, pretty much between 15 and 20. And then see what anything else you're gonna add. You guys can also the color balance and everything else in gradient maps, but uh, I don't really recommend that. And then you can obviously just click it and turn on the sensitivity or the opacity and sensitivity, the opacity stuff. And then you can just finish it all. If you can just take one of the layers that you have and go to like render, lens flare. My computer is telling me there's not enough RAM. That is the first I've ever seen that. Let's try it again. This might not work for me then. Nope. Alright, but you can go to filter and turn it on like a flare. I might have one in my pack that I was using. Um, not a regular flare. Yeah, or something like this. Alright, and then you can just take that, take a flare or anything and just drag it in. Oh, no, not too small. But you guys got the idea. This is pretty much how to enhance the like, real life pictures, and it looks a lot better than going from the regular picture and then with all of this. And then you guys can mess with um, your brightness and contrast and stuff. But pretty much what does this is the saturation and contrast. It really brings out more noticeably colors like the greens and the blues and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's about it. So this works pretty much all formats of every camera. This was taken on a Canon. But I'm pretty sure it'd work for your iPhone pictures and stuff like that. So it's really easy. It only took about four minutes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And probably next tutorial will be some Cinema 4D stuff. But that's about it. So I hope to see you in the next video. Peace out.